Let's get started with Hey, what's up guys? This is a condensed version of the live stream we had on June 4th. The full length live stream is available unlisted in the link down below. Subscribe and maybe hit that bell so next time I'm live you can be there too. What's up guys? I'm Snows and this was a boot sequence live. <laughs> Let's get started with Intel this time, not the usual AMD. Our first subject is Intel's Rocket Lake. Just to round up the rumors that we've had so far, we know that Rocket Lake is a 14 nanometer CPU. Uh, once again, so 14 nanometer plus, 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 except that it's not based on Sky Lake. It's actually based on uh, the next generation, Tiger Lake, Willow Cove, I believe. And it's basically backported from the uh, 10 nanometer up to 14 nanometers. So completely or at least partially different architecture. And we thought for a while that it would be released this year, at the end of this year. Um, believe it or not, it just makes sense for Intel because right now they're kind of struggling. So pushing out something as new as possible, as soon as possible, was probably their best bet. Well, it turns out that we're not going to see Rocket Lake uh, take off this year at all. And I mean, really at all. So let's take a look at the actual article. As you can see here, this is a slide that was, uh, I believe, taken from a partner meeting from Intel. And uh, as you can see, the products that amplify enthusiast performance, you can see the X and the S series, both of which are uh, desktop parts. X is the X299, you know, with the 10980XE that was released uh, late last year. And the S series is the desktop that everybody knows, you know, the 10900K. And uh, basically, as you can see here, this is the whole of 2020. And the S series don't have Rocket Lake. But more interestingly, neither does the X. Now, it's not uncommon for a company to just you know, not have an update for 12 months. Like it could be on Q1 of 2021 and that would be fine. But for Intel, especially with how, you know, the 3950X is destroying their top of the line X299 CPU, it's kind of a, a scary thing. I honestly think they're gonna completely skip uh, Rocket Lake, at least for the X series. And for the S, they're going to go ahead and uh, use that 14 nanometers again. Oh. This is a funny one. Thermaltake just uh, released a AIO that works with CPUs and uh, memory, which, you know, I'm not going to judge. If you want to water cool your RAM, it's fine. My biggest gripe is this. The way it's tubed, it's basically a triangle. So you have the radiator, the CPU cooler, and the RAM. So the tubes go everywhere. Why couldn't they just have gone from the radiator to the CPU to the RAM? That would have made so much more sense. Here is the next topic of news. AMD Big Navi is a Halo product. Well, that we kind of knew, right? It's, uh, it's the top of the line. As far as we know, Big Navi is what is going to be the biggest product. What is interesting is what has been discussed during a Bank of America Securities Global Technologies Conference. Basically, during that conference, the CFO of AMD, Devinder Kumar, said that there's a lot of excitement for Navi 2, or Navi 2X, or RDNA 2, or what our fans have dubbed as Big Navi. So, obvious statement right here, there is a lot of excitement, but that led him to say, Big Navi is a Halo product, and this will be our first RDNA-based uh, product. Essentially, what's happening is, it's not going to be the consoles first. It's going to be desktop first, which is something that we kind of were uh, debating because all the hype that went into the consoles and how RDNA 2 uh, is going to be like the cornerstone of the next gen consoles, it could have been a strategy for AMD to just say, you know what, let's start with the consoles, show everybody how well this works, and then we'll, we'll release the bigger, um, the big chunguses out to the public for desktops. Well, this confirms that the first RDNA 2 based product is going to be Big Navi for desktop. And that means that the launch window for Big Navi and RDNA 2 on desktop is going to be between September and October, which is pretty awesome. Um, I thought we, we would have to wait until the holidays. We could have had a si simultaneous, uh, si simul, sim words, 
we could have had a uh, release for both of them at the same time with consoles and uh, the desktop cards, but this means that it's going to come out prior. Plus, yes, somebody uh, I saw somebody say, uh, Devin Williams, perfect time for Cyberpunk, definitely. And I honestly hope that AMD does one of those, you know, super uh, gamer um, uh, packages where you get like two or three games and that Cyberpunk is included. Uh, another fun fact, did you know there was a uh, FPS for the Avengers? I had no clue. Um, it was supposed to be released with the first Avengers movie. Here's some footage of it. It looks really weird when you have two hands um, in front of you in an FPS. It does not look good in my opinion. But yeah, some footage was recently found uh, of that specific game and they canceled it. I think my, my bigger issue is the fact that it's so zoomed in. I think like the FOV must be uh, a lot bigger. Let's go to the next one. Get your free game, free game check. So it's Overcooked this week, which is odd because it wasn't supposed to be. Um, this is the second time Overcooked has been on the uh, on the free game for, uh, for Epic Games. I actually already had it before this came out. It's a great game. I played it a lot. It's not that fun when you play alone. It's actually getting, it's, it's way harder when you play alone, uh, but yeah, Overcooked, free, you can go get it. Uh, and it's Overcooked 1, not 2, so you're gonna have a hard time playing with mouse and keyboard. It's gonna be uh, much better if you have a controller. We're probably gonna do this again very soon. And that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. And subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. By the way, somebody in chat during the live stream asked me to uh, say Van Gogh, except in the proper Dutch pronunciation, which is apparently Van Gogh. So there you go. Thanks for the $5, dude.